a video that I put up earlier, I got a moist man comment. You bashing all these people. I'm not bashing. I'm telling the truth. If any YouTuber that I mention their name has put money in your pocket, post their name in your story in the comment section. Every time I do one of these videos where I name people and I say that they're putting out BS advice based upon 23 years of entrepreneurship, many of you get upset because I'm talking smack about one of your favorite YouTubers. So don't go in the comments like you're bashing people. Really, if I'm bashing someone, instead of going like, okay, you know, um, you're bashing someone, I can't listen to it. How come you're not saying, look, Glendon, you're wrong. This YouTuber has put 10,000, 20, 30, $40,000 in my pocket. You're wrong. This is my story. I'm not getting that. I'm getting all of this moist man crap. Look, I'm on a mission. We got an agenda here. 100,000 corporate citizens. And we're not going to get here with all this pie in the sky, fantasy business bullshit crap. Grow the fuck up. You're not going to start a little business, not work hard, and make a lot of money. And I know you clowns, you moist men, hate hearing that truth because I am pissing all on your dreams of easy money, easy wealth, and it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. If I become the boogeyman of YouTube, so be it. I don't really care because I feel that most of the information in the business space and the personal finance space is useless. Someone made a video talking about um, how uh, Peter Thiel turned his Roth account into $5 billion. And unless you're positioned like Peter Thiel to put your PayPal shares in the Roth, it ain't gonna never happen. If you're playing that kind of corporate game and you have access and proximity, you can do it. But if you're a regular, normal person, big whoop, so you know about that information. Well, Peter Thiel did that. Okay, can you do it? No. And this is what I'm talking about. Useless information that you cannot apply, that you cannot use, you cannot do anything with. It's like, oh yeah, Peter Thiel stacked his PayPal shares in his Roth account and they grew and he, he's, he's able to draw out five million, five billion tax free. Okay, how does that help you? How does that help you? It's useless information. It's 100% useless information. But this is what gets the views, stuff that you can't apply. Because it sounds good. And it's like, that's big boy business. And I, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, the businesses that you can do, the average person can do, y'all don't want to do. And it's real interesting because I'm seeing a, a parallel with my car rental business. I am seeing a, a parallel. Uh, what gets the Camrys for 35 bucks a day are older adults with responsibilities. The kids, the young kids, they don't want the Camrys. They don't want the Acras. They want the BMWs. They want the Range Rovers. They want the Porsche. They don't want what they need, what they should be getting. Uh, I'm seeing that. And many of you do not want to do a business that fits your capabilities. Now, I'm about to be really, really mean. The majority of you will never start a million dollar business. Facts. Now, you can start a service business and work your way up to 250,000. I think that's in the capacity of many people and you can leverage that 250,000 into getting wealthy over time. I feel that most people can do that. Most of you are not gonna ever start a million dollar business. You wanna know why? Because of the moist man comments. 
You get so easily offended because I'm talking about your favorite YouTuber, someone that you like, not someone that has actually helped you, but someone that you like. Oh my God, he's talking about my favorite YouTuber. Your favorite YouTuber that has not made you one fucking dime, but you like him. You like him. And you're like, wait a minute, what's the most important here? Is it about making money or is it about liking your YouTubers? I mean, like, I know how YouTube works. It's a personality game. Graham Stephan, a lot of people really, really like him as a person. And that's why his videos do so well, because they like him. Regardless of the fact that most of the advice he gives is 100% useless. It's useless. You can't do nothing with it. Or and I'm getting ready to become the boogeyman of the personal finance space. Fine, I'll be that guy. I'll be I'll be Darth Vader. I'll be on the dark side. I have no problem with that because I don't give a damn if you guys like me or not. Because we have got to get real. A lot of you are wasting time with these. Uh, I was watching this ad where this guy once again. You don't have to sell nothing. You don't have to spend this. You don't have to do this. You can work when you want to. All of those key buzzwords that appeal to your lazy do nothing sign. And that ain't going to cut it. I am showing you real business. And a lot of you are so sensitive that when I talk about your favorite YouTuber who ain't done shit for you, you go like, well, I, I can't listen because he's bashing. You know what it is? It ain't that I'm bashing your YouTuber. That That's not it. The issue is I am making you confront reality. And that's what you really don't like. Because I am making you look at this game from a realistic standpoint. And you don't like that because I'm pissing on your dreams. That's what it really is. It's not because I'm, I'm not actually saying such and such as somebody. I'm just actually giving an accurate portrayal of the state of YouTube. Most of the advice on YouTube is useless. It is useless. If it's entertaining, it gets views. But essentially, a friend of mine was telling me that she was listening to someone, I'm gonna mention her name, Cat Theo. And Cat Theo has a, a YouTube channel talking about side hustles and things. Now this is what's interesting. Cat Theo has a job. So that is very, very telling. I've not had a job in 23 years because I've been able to live off of my business experience. I've been able to create money with my business experience. Yet someone who has a job gets more views than me because she's telling you what you want to hear versus what you need to hear. And this, 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 this is this is the crazy thing. And I had a friend who was listening and she said, I listened to Kat and I went to the website and it, she left out a lot of important details because this was nowhere as easy. And see, this, 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 this is the thing, man. They're telling you it's easy and you have this need to believe that making a lot of money is easy. As someone who has made a lot of money and more importantly, as someone who has shown you receipts a lot of people have a problem with receipts because once again it's like he's talking the big game and he's bringing receipts i can't stand this person i hate him he's arrogant he needs to humble himself he needs to do it like everyone else is doing it and i'm trying to go ahead and instill in you guys the reality of starting businesses like i said I feel that it is within the capacities of the average person to start a business, scale it up to 250K, pay your taxes, live on 80K, and have 100K for investments. I feel that the average person can do that. Average person is not going to become a millionaire in 10 years. It's just not happening. But the average person can scale up to 250 have a really good life. Um, you live where you want to live, drive what you want to drive, eat where you want to live, 
eat, send your kids to private school. You could do all that on 250. You could do all that. But what people are having an issue with, and like I said, you know, I would consider the YouTubers I mentioned in that last video as entertainers, not educators. There's a difference between Graham Steffens is a entertainer. He's a personal finance entertainer. He actually is not educating people like, because people watch Graham because they like him. And, you know, I made a decision. Do I want to be liked or do I want to be respected? And I want to be respected. So I'm going to be the Darth Vader and I'm going to keep talking about these YouTubers who keep putting out useless, unapplicable advice or the YouTubers, because I got an expose series that's coming up. I know of a fact of one girl who is consciously lying to you. Consciously. It is not a mistake. It's not an accident. She didn't slip up. She's consciously lying to you about making money online consciously it's a deliberate act and people are eating it up because she's young that's one of the things that got Graham Steffens over he was young people like to see young super successful people it's like oh man that's really cool but the reality is the average person ain't going to take action and when I say the things I say I just piss on your dreams make you upset, uh, create problems for you, and I'm, I'm forcing you to confront some ugly realities. Because, like I said, I will continue to talk about these YouTubers because I, as a seasoned entrepreneur, as someone that knows how to handle money, as someone that knows how to build credit, as someone that knows how to build, I can actually look at them and tell if they're telling the truth or not from a seasoned perspective. And like, once again, template businesses like you know if you like the videos it's like hey you can do this business but they don't tell you how to do it they don't tell you how to structure it they don't tell you how to build it they don't tell you how to grow it it's just like hey you can do this business uh if being aware that a business it exists a business model exists if that floats your boat and that makes you happy knock yourself out is that gonna put money in your pocket though Let's be real. Is that going to put money in your pocket? Like one of the reasons when I am doing these videos talking about my experience with the car rental business, a lot of you are shocked because you've been listening to this. It's easy. It's simple. Bullshit. That's what it is. It is 100% bullshit. And they are doing it to get views. And I don't care if you don't like me. I'm going to keep doing it because I have a mission. And you're not going to become one of the 100,000 corporate citizens believing in fairy tales and believing in lies. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. So I feel that when people have the truth and honesty, they make better decisions. And a lot of you, I'm not blaming you because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So someone can come on YouTube and talk about doing this business and making all this money. My friend, she said she spent a week on this stuff. And she, and then when she actually got into the website and she started doing it, she made 30 bucks for a week's worth of work. $30. And she was like, I was so mad. And th this, this is the reality because these people... They put out this BS and they get away with it because most of you don't take action. Most of you don't take action. And I got this comment like, you know, you're bashing. No, I'm exposing people. I'm exposing the truth because I'm in the position to expose the truth. I got a Porsche. Pay cash for it. I got a BMW. Pay cash for it. I live a luxurious lifestyle. Me and other house. I got the receipts that can dispel the BS because the like this this thing with low content books. Okay. I came to the space as a writer. And I know that there are some people who do have coloring books 
and on Amazon and they make money. But the people who are making the money are not spending five hours a week. These folks are working 40, 50 hours a week on these projects. They're not like coasting into it. They're actually putting in work. And I'm trying to dispel this notion that you can make a lot of money sitting on your ass drinking fruity drinks. This girl that I'm going to do the expose on, it's going to be called uh, Why She's Consciously Lying to You, which is going to be very, very anti-YouTuber. Because I've noticed that when another YouTuber um, reviews another YouTuber, the traditional line is to be soft, to be soft pedal. Don't, don't ask no hard questions. Don't point out any flaws. Don't say anything bad. Be seriously nice. And I understand I run a risk of having a lot of people don't like me. I will be the Dame Dash of YouTube because a lot of people didn't like Dame Dash years ago when he said what he said on The Breakfast Club, but he what he said was 100% the truth. 100% the truth. And it, for you guys to become corporate citizens, you got to let Disneyland fantasies go. Like... I got all the questions I get about the car rental business. It's like, you need to hire someone. You need to do this. You need to do this. All based upon, it's so easy to make a lot of money. Uh, I feel by August, this car rental business will be making me 30, maybe 40K a month, which ain't my goal. And I am actually showing you the process, the good, the bad, the ugly. Right now, I have a car repair issue, and once away, in time, that will go away. I am fully approaching this business realistically. I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't think it's going to be passive, but at the end, it's going to be worth it, but it's going to take hard work. It's going to take effort. It's going to take money. It's going to take a plan, and it's going to take, I got a lot of stuff to learn. This is the thing. I still have a lot of things to learn. And I understand that I have a lot of things to learn. But instantly, and I, I will give you just one small example of things I've learned in the last eight weeks. Let's go ahead and say we're, we're two months in. I have learned that most of my competition is going out and buying garbage, cheap cars, and BS that people don't want to drive. I literally have people waiting on me or waiting on my vehicles to come available to rent from me because I'm Mac Daddy Autos. I'm creating a theme. Mac Daddy Autos are going to be nice cars. So you can spend $55 a day to rent a Sentra or you can spend $55 a day to rent a BMW. What you going to do? And this is something, I am the only one on the higher car profile on the platform that's doing this. Uh, I had my account manager, when uh, he got transferred and he saw the kind of cars, he was like, who is this guy? How is he doing this? And we had a conversation. He's like, are you financing these? I'll pay cash. He said, what? He was shocked because essentially you have a lot of small players on higher car. And for the moment, I am a small player. There are guys on there with hundreds of cars. I am a small player with 21 cars. I am a small player. And in time, this time next year, let's say August, September next year, it is my goal to have 100 cars, which is going to require employees, which is going to require management, it's which is going to require organizations, which is going to, it's going to, it's going to be a lot because essentially I see myself having two to three employees. And it's going to take time because a lot of you are like, man, you should do this. You should do this. It's, I've been doing this two months, two months. And a lot of you are so seduced by these quick, fast. Let, let's, let's go ahead and define this. If I hit my objective, right? My objective of a month of a yearly income of 1.5 million in 25 months, that to me is laser fast, laser fast. Many of you are looking for microwave businesses that you can go ahead and punch 30 seconds on the clock and then boom, you're making 30, 40, 50,000. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. I've talked about this for years. Erica's talked about this. 
And a lot of you are so wanting to believe that you can start a business and start making big money, go on vacation, have weekends off, not work overtime, not put a lot of time and effort into it. And a lot of you will never, ever be successful because you don't understand that creating a business takes time, effort, and energy, and endurance. Like, I, I had people on me, even before I started, I was like, man, that car business is going to be a lot of hassle. It is. It's a lot of hassle, and it has a lot of problems. And see, that's where the money is. The money is in the problems. The money isn't in easy. The money, the harder... I see so many things with this business that will lead to money. Like, let me give you an example. Um, I don't even, where, here, here's my phone. So one of the things, I don't have it on me, but I've got another phone strictly for this business. I bought it with the corporate credit card and that phone is going to be the number that everyone's going to call. And essentially that's going to solve a problem because essentially my phone rings 24-7. And essentially, I will go get that phone in the morning from the office. And then I will leave that phone in the office with a message. Hey, this is Mac Daddy Autos. Thank you for wanting the rent for us. We're a closed. We will open up at such and such time in the morning. And boom, we will solve your issue then. Because I had someone who, you know, apparently when I told him it was $700 for a key, I don't know if he found it. I haven't heard from him. But essentially... I got to build systems, processes, and things in place to grow this business. And it's a lot of problems, and that's where the money is. The money is in solving problems, not some easy push-button business. Like one girl, like medical commodities, it, it's, it's a hot topic. And one girl, she did it, and she said, there's a lot more expenses in this business than you think. And once again, I'm going to say his name, Car b, b here on YouTube. He dropped a lot of sauce and game about the car rental business that no one else even talked about. And the guy, I mean, seriously, a lot of his videos only have two or 300 views because people want to believe in the easy template business model. Like I'm giving you the real and essentially I will solve the problems with the repairs. I made some mistakes and I'm being 100% honest with that. I shouldn't have bought the Range Rovers. I know that now because I'm in the business, I'm in the marketplace and I understand the Range Rovers do rent, but the Range Rovers draw problems because it draws a certain kind of person who wants to flex and they don't have the money to flex. So one of the things that I want to do in creating these 100,000 corporate citizens is tell people the truth. And I'm about to be 100% transparent. Business is hard, but it's worth it. Like, I've been doing this, I've been working like seven days a week since April. You know, buying cars, like, if I can buy, this is one of the reasons I will, if I can find someone with good price and I'll buy four or five cars because you, you got to, drive there you gotta test drive the car then i gotta go to the bank get the you know i mean it's it's a full-time job just buying cars and essentially i want to have my dealer's license by the time when i really start buying 10 15 20 cars a month it'll be much easier when i have my dealer's license because i can buy them all at one auction and more importantly uh another thing that's going to happen is i will be able to go ahead and get the title much quicker and I'll be able to get the tag the next day. That's gonna, cause like I said, it's about solving problems. So once again, I'm just trying to illustrate you guys real business. Like if I mention a channel, please do not put some moist man comment, you're bashing people. Tell me exactly how that channel has benefited you. Because essentially, every time I do this, I never get anyone that says, hey, I listened to such and such and I made money. I never get that response. That's what we're here for. If you rather be entertained by a pleasant personality and not make any money, live your life. Enjoy your life. 
But I'm here to teach people how to make real money. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to play with you. I'm not here to tell you fairy tales. I'm not here to make you feel good about your low expectations. I am here to help people start real businesses that make real money. I'm not here to stunt. I'm not here to floss. I'm not here to flex. And one of the things that and it's just my personality, because if you don't like it, when I mention your favorite YouTuber and I make you confront the fact that your favorite YouTuber ain't done shit for you, that's going to create a lot of disharmony because I'm making a lot of you reflect. I'm making a lot of you ponder because like Dame Dash, who became the boogeyman, a lot of people didn't like what Dame Dash had to say, even though he was 100% on point. If I be the Dame Dash or the boogeyman of the YouTube space, fine. I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. Because once again, a lot of these YouTubers are bullshitting you. They're not giving you applicable, usable advice. And that's the issue. So we're going to be working on some stuff. And uh, July is going to come here and I'm going to start some new stuff because I'm kind of getting my feet under me with this new business because, you know, I only have 21 cars. It's like damn near a full time job. It is damn near. So, you know, and I, I remember a guy car Airbnb. He said this. He said, if you get more than three cars, and you got a full time job. You're going to have problems. He actually said that. He actually said that. I did not start really running into time issues until about 12 cars but once again i don't have a job i don't have a normal i don't have a job i, I actually have the ability to do this and it's going to be hard it's going to be hassles it's going to be headaches and but that's just business that's real business and i'm here to dispel these myths and fantasies and fun snorry tales that you can make all of this money passively i am really going to dig in on that crowd because many people, I actually saw a comment. I, I would buy a car and rent it because it's passive income. If you have multiple cars, it is not passive income, not passive at all. So that's all I got. Cause you know, I had to get this off my chest cause that comment pissed me off because no one puts in there. Well, this YouTuber actually helped me make money. Glendon, you're wrong. I'm not hearing those stories. All I'm hearing is, you're talking about people, man. You're bashing people. 